Do you want to improve your understanding of math? I'll tell you the secret to improve your math using your memory in the shortest time. After watching this video, learning and memorizing any topic will become very easy for you. As I always tell my students, output is very important. You've got to output what you've learned by writing, typing, and also saying it out loud. Now, the best way to learn is to teach your juniors. According to the learning pyramid, if you teach someone, you retain as much as 90% of what you learn. If you just listen to a lecture, you will only retain 5%. So even when you watch and listen to YouTube videos, 90% of what you learn won't stay in your memory. Input without output is not the most efficient method to study. What a waste of your time it would be. The more you actively teach what you learn, the more you'll remember. Try to engage in a group discussion, a practice of some sort, or teach what you learn. Teaching really activates your brain to communicate with others, both verbally and non-verbally. You have to access your memory, rebuild the pieces of stored information, check if they make sense, output them as a convincing story, and repeat this in a very short time. This way you can remember what you learn for a much longer time. Moreover, you can check your level of understanding this way as well. If you cannot explain very well, it means you do not understand that topic very well. Why is teaching your junior the best strategy? Albert Einstein said, if you can't explain it to a six year old, you don't understand it yourself. Now imagine there are two tasks. One task is that you have to teach adding fractions to a first grader. The other task is that you have to teach the same technique to a 10th grader. Now which task do you think is tougher? Obviously teaching it to the first grader. When you teach 10th graders, you know you don't have to tell what is a ratio or a, what a common denominator is. So you may skip something that you don't really understand. But for the first grader, you've got to understand the background and the application and the ins and outs of adding fractions. First graders know only numbers, two digit additions and some multiplication. How are you going to make them understand fractions? Naturally, you've got to be more serious about learning the topic deeper. Right after you learn something new, try to teach it to your younger sister or brother. If you have none, try to teach it to your pet or even a stuffed animal. So remember, teaching is the best learning method. Inputting without outputting is the hardest and the most inefficient way to study in my opinion. Get more active with others when you study. The more you output what you learn, the more longer it will stay in your memory. Who would be your best students? Definitely someone who doesn't know the idea how what you learn. I used to teach math to my sister eight years younger than me. This may be the reason I was good at taking tests. If you take SAT anytime soon, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I have a lot of SAT math test prep videos showing you the must know hacks and strategies which will improve your SAT math score. See you next time.